They're mixing today. They're mixing. Looking at your little cup. Extra. Yeah, every now and then I'll, you know, throw a prop in there. Something different, you know, in the screen. So one of the main ingredients for personal growth, accountability. Say it with me, accountability. Say it with me, accountability. One, two, three, accountability. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Sorry, let me stop. <laughs> anyway, so the definition for accountability is... Um, the quality or state of being accountable, yeah, an obligation or willingness, this is where we're really going today, an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's actions, yeah, and that definition is from miriamwebster.com. So why do I think it's important, accountability? Three reasons. You can't grow if you don't see a need for change. I think that's quite self-explanatory. Instead of, I was late because of the children, try I was late because I was disorganized or I didn't prioritize. You can't, you can't, you can't change if you don't see, um, you can't grow if you don't see the need for change, honestly. If everything is always everyone else's fault, you're stuck, you're, you're, you're plateau, you, 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 that's it. You're going to reach a certain point in life, in relationships and so on, and that's going to be it. Which leads to my second point, a lack of accountability ruins relationships. For example, marriage, ministry, work, people not understanding their role or, you know, not doing their role. It, it, it causes resentment. Yeah. I looked at Inc.com and it had a little, um, I'll read you a little note here that I uh, made with regards to accountability and working in teams. Um, when people take ownership, if things start to go wrong, then they step into solution mode. They start to try and figure out what's going wrong and try to fix it. Teams that are successful are full of people that go into solution mode. They are full of people who not only care, but take care. In my experience, accountability is the single biggest differentiator between successful and unsuccessful teams and you can apply that so you see that's to do with teams in a work environment you can apply that to um marriage relate all different types of relationships you can apply that to if you're not recognizing your faults your flaws where you've been weak where you could have done better you're not going to grow it, it it causes resentment friction and everything just starts to fall down now there's no more ministry there's no more team you know you're not meeting the deadlines the company's crashing and failing <laughs> like i'm not saying that's the whole reason why but that's one of the things accountability especially and sorry let me just say the third thing before i go into that the third reason why i think it's important to share is because accountability prevents you from over committing yourself when you're a bit more self-aware you recognize do you know what if i take this on i'm i may not be able to meet this target or i don't know if this is the season for me to do this or that when you are more accountable as a person it prevents you from over committing yourself because you recognize do you know what it's going to be on me if this fails or if this flops or whatever it's going to be on me it's going to be nobody else's fault it's going to be my fault okay so now we're going to look at, and, and sorry, that's what I was going to say, especially over this past year, um, I've just been thinking a lot about accountability, 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 and how much, when people lack it, it really just puts them in a funky position. It, it's just, it's really sad. It's really sad when someone doesn't have the ability to look within and see their need or areas for change it's very sad it's sad i think it's one of the saddest parts in life to be honest with you one of the saddest things in life because i, I just know how i think that, that sounds so boasty isn't it i know how i am <laughs> but you know I, I just know it's so important i think because it's so important to me because it's a value of mine to grow and develop so when i see that people have no intention and i'm not talking about oh 
Monday we're listening to Les Brown. Um, Tuesday we're listening to um, Tony Robinson. I'm not talking about that, like the hunger, like sometimes how I may even overdo it in my own life. I'm just talking about a basic, oh yeah, these are my strengths, these are my weaknesses. When someone lacks the ability to actually be accountable, when something is always someone else's fault, you know what I mean? It's just, you're just stuck in life. You know what I mean? You're just stuck in life and then you look around, this relationship has failed, that relationship has failed, that relationship has failed, but you don't see your part in it. It's just always everyone else's fault. Okay, so how to develop accountability. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing her name properly, but as I was looking into this a little bit, I saw an article come up um, by Mia Mingus. I really hope that's how you pronounce her name, Mia Mingus. And I'll just um, explain a little bit of what I took from it. So there's four parts to accountability, right? There's self-reflection, apology, repair, and change behavior. So the first one is self-reflection. So as I was just mentioning, looking into yourself, looking at your own actions and thinking, how have my actions impacted this person or this situation? Honesty. Accountability starts with honesty. Um, so yeah, self-reflection, honesty. The second um, aspect of accountability, once you do the self-reflection and you recognise where you've gone wrong, then it's time for the apology. And when I say apology, nobody come with, oh, I'm sorry that you felt that way. You know when people do that, you just want to, like, mm. I'm sorry. I'm a Christian, so I'm not supposed to say that. But yes, I'm keeping it real. When I hear the, I'm sorry if you felt that, don't, don't, don't do that. Just keep it to yourself. It would have been better if you don't say anything at all. Just act blind like you don't see anything. Just, just, just pretend you don't know what's going on. You don't know anything. If you're going to apologise, just apologise to someone properly. I'm sure I may have done that same backwards apology as well of the oh if you feel like oh sorry that you've like no i'm sorry for my part in this i recognize what i did wrong um that totally was not my intention and and i'm really sorry that my actions made you feel that way you know just act, acknowledge just apologize properly yeah man don't come with that because it, it's very patronizing it's condescending it's insulting when people do the if you felt but no <laughs> so self-reflection that was a little rant self-reflection and then apology after apology there's repair you've apologized to the person see if you can repair if you can reconcile if you're not open to it if the person's not open to it okay it's just not the time for that maybe there's another time you can hopefully repair the, the relationship but now that you've seen where you've gone wrong you can repair the fourth part of accountability is changed behavior i've heard this saying there's no what is it there's no better apology than changed behavior and i, I recognize that for myself especially in my own marriage you know my husband and i we've both made mistakes even the other day we were talking about the fact that you know what we just came into this obviously we had counseling and stuff but we just came into marriage not knowing a lot about how to be a good husband or a good wife just learning on the job you know and thank god we're in a lovely and loving place you know i love him dearly he he is he is my best friend i know so cheesy but he's really he's really nice and supportive i'm very grateful for him but like change behavior when we when we've said oh i'm sorry but we do the same thing and you know it causes resentment but when i've seen change behavior when he has seen change behavior everything is sweeter and I'm sure you can see that in other relationships as well. It's like, wow, they're actually making an effort. I know it may be a struggle for them, but they're actually making an effort not to, you know, do the thing that I told them hurts my feelings or upsets me. And there's a little quote from her here. True accountability is not only apologising, understanding the impact of your actions, sorry, understanding the impact your actions have caused on yourself and others, making amends or reparations to the harmed parties. But most importantly, true accountability is changing your behaviour so that the harm, violence, abuse does not happen again. 
and that was a quote there from Mia Mingus so yes true accountability is change behavior so I'm telling you ladies I'm telling you if you want to have successful relationships and this is a reminder to me as well we have to learn to be accountable individuals we have to learn to be accountable honestly and you know just watching certain videos and looking at certain comments and stuff like that i can see like wow this is a major issue for a lot of people um lack of accountability it really is and i just wanted to create a little something on it to create a little dent on this topic um because i'm sure i'm not even covering the surface there's even more as i always say there is even more that i am learning but i just want to see people succeed i want to see you know the ladies that i'm encouraging with this youtube channel succeed in their home in their life you know i want to see them live their best life and i really believe a, a way to live your best life is to be accountable as a person as you're watching this now there are probably some people that you need to apologize to yeah and you know even me actually i think after this uh, I'll, I'll say a prayer and say lord is there someone that i need to apologize to is there some more change behavior in me to be had yes there is there, there's always need for change and if you're going to go to the person as i said don't come with the stupid little apology i'm sorry that you felt it's a goofy apology like just apologize properly and work on changing the behavior because I, i'm telling you your relationships will just fizzle 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 everything isn't always everyone else's fault sometimes you have to look within sometimes you're the common denominator if you've got problems at home problems at work problems at church problem on the train problem on the bus problem problem everywhere at some point you have to say maybe i'm the common denominator i've said this like a lot of times before in different settings and i'm saying it to myself as well please take accountability be accountable it's a bit more of a heavy one today but it's just because as i said i'm seeing a, a, like where it's such an issue and it's wrecking people's lives and it's causing a lot of people to not have fruitful relationships so please take accountability one of the main ingredients for self-development so our bible verse of encouragement is matthew 12 verse 36 to 37 but i say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment for by my words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned so as we can see this is something that god wants for us god wants us to practice accountability now lord please help us all of us all the ladies watching this video help us to be accountable for our own actions help us to take responsibility lord for the mistakes that we've made and stop always blaming everybody else mama papa whoever whoever yes there are certain situations that have set us back no doubt but at a certain point you decided to make that bad decision the flaw the fault is within you it's within me yeah so let's be accountable, let's have accountability, and let's see the change within you and me. You see, I'm ending it on a lighter note there. So ladies, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Share the video with others. Remember, remember, like now, like, get the likes up, get the likes up. <laughs> I'm sounding like someone, but let me stop. But anyway, um, I just... I just appreciate everybody who has subscribed so far. Anyway, I don't think I've said it yet. Thank you for all the people who have subscribed and who have, you know, just been supporting the channel so far. We're still at the baby stage, but I will continue to grow and continue to share your encouragement with me. Any ideas you have how this channel can grow and be even better. Okay, ladies, I hope you have a lovely day, lovely evening. Bye.